guys, welcome to another recap of Dancing with the Stars. It's rock and roll week in the Glitter Dome. Oh wait, but first the ultimate time waster. <laughs> it's the ultimate top 10 list. All right, so let's see what they got. At number 10, Sean Johnson and Mark Ballas. I'm not gonna say a word, you can't make me. I swear you can't make me. <laughs> All right, uh, Donnie and Kim, I'm gonna say a word. Doing their Argentine tango. Why is Donnie on this list? <sighs> Elio Castroneves and Julianne Huff with their quick step. That definitely deserves to be on the list. They were number eight. Apollo and Julianne, their freestyle, mm, not so much. Uh, I liked one of his other dances better that did make the list. Uh, Joanna and Derek doing their futuristic paso. This definitely belongs on the list. That was number six. Number five, Mel B and Maxime, uh, the paso. I would have thought the rumba from that season as well. That was equally as good. Um, they were number five. Number four, Nicole and Derek doing their paso. Hello, any of Nicole Scherzinger's dances from that season could have made this top ten list. And you know what? They shouldn't have come in at number four, America. She should have definitely been number one. For crying out loud, she was the best dancer ever to be on the show in the history of Dancing with the Stars. <sighs> All right. Apollo and Julianne, their samba, that one definitely deserves to be on the list. Gilles and Cheryl, I knew he was going to be there. They were there with the tango at number two. And Drew and Cheryl with their freestyle. This was really good. I don't know if it was number one worthy, but he was a good dancer and they made great, they were great partners that season. I have to say, wah! No Stacy Keebler, no Christy Yamaguchi. No Mario Lopez, come on. No, even no Joey Fat one. I'll even throw a Lisa Rinna in there. Why don't you leave in the comments what your favorite dancer was ever on um, Dancing with the Stars? I'm gonna have to say that mine was Nicole Scherzinger. Um, all right, let's begin the show now. <laughs> Audrina and Tony were up first with their Pasa Doble. He knows that she needs a little bit more conviction, so he took her to a mixed martial arts lesson. Come on, Audrina, hit that thing like it's Justin Bobby. Um, another one bites the dust? Really? I think that singer was biting the dust because there's only one Freddie Mercury and he wasn't it. All right, she's a good dancer. She tries, but she is so robotic. I just can't get past it. I don't know what it is. Is she afraid she's going to snap in half or something? I mean, she does weigh like five pounds. Did I just say that out loud? All right. They ended up with a 24. Kyle and Lacey up next with their tango. Uh, he definitely looked like Aladdin. It was kind of weird. <laughs> but you know what? The guy gives a great performance like every week. It's the technique that's the problem. Although he's improved a lot, uh, he still had a few slip ups, but it was good. Uh, they ended up with a 23. Jennifer and Derek up next with their Pasa Doble. Good, not great. Um, it was a little out of control. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, you like Jennifer Grey so much. No, I don't. She was a good dancer up until, like, last week. And now I have to agree with Carrie Ann. She's kind of going downhill a little bit. But you know what? I would have threw in a few extra points just for the, eye for the guy liner, Derek. Good move. So they ended up with a 20. I thought the judges were a little bit harsh. Rick and Cheryl up with their tango. How many people think, by show of hands, that he looked like the head gremlin from the Gremlins movie with that white mohawk? I think he caught a case of the robots from Audrina, though. It was very stiff. He was very cautious during this whole dance. He needs a little bit more conviction for crying out loud. They had a 24. Bristol and Mark's tango. Was that the same monkey from last week? I don't think so. That was a whole nother monkey. A huge improvement, but you know what? Still not amazing. Uh, 23. Kurt and Anna, Pasa Doble. Uh, Brett Michaels showed up. Yeah, he's still alive. You know, I keep doing the rock thing wrong. It's like that. Sorry guys, my brain is like scrambled right now. Kurt, you know, I took some flack for him too, you know, that I should have been kinder to him but he really is the worst one on the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. He is so lukewarm, and I know he's trying. He's a great person. He's not a dancer, though. He needs conviction and finesse. 
They ended up with an 18, the low score of the night. Brandy and Max closed the couple dance portion of the show with their tango. All right, this was Brandy's week. I thought this week was better than last week, and I took a lot of Brandy flack, too, because I thought it was a little light last week. This was better this week, and she got a lower score than she did last week. I'm really surprised about that. She had the best dance of the show. Come on. Something missing, though. Something, little something-something was still missing, but definitely the best in the show. So it's time for the dance marathon. Legal lifts are allowed. They've been legalized for this portion. All right, so no surprises here. First one out, Kurt and Anna, they ended up with a 22. Bristol and Mark, uh, they were out next. They ended up with a 28. Rick and Cheryl, they ended up with 30. Kyle and Lacey, thir uh, 30 as well. Wow, they tied. <laughs> Audrina and Tony, a 32. Uh, it came down to Jennifer and Derek and Brandy and Max. I gotta say, I really enjoyed watching Brandy and Max. They had a whole little routine down. They were doing, you know, little uh, leg flicks and everything in sync. It was really, they really deserved to be the last ones there. They ended up with a 36. Derek almost wiped out, ended up with a 29. They probably would have had higher if the judges weren't so harsh on their individual dance, which I really didn't think was warranted, but... What are you going to do? Tomorrow night, Hart, Kylie Minogue, the School of Rock Kids. Uh, I'd probably bet the house that iCarly's not going to be there. So it's probably just going to be the Scrubs from the movie. So until tomorrow, much love.